Oh, hey everybody, welcome back to the fully documented uh, P1 Auto to M66 series. Today we are going to be talking about sourcing your parts. Stick around. Okay, everybody, welcome back again today. Before we talk about sourcing your parts for your auto to M66 conversion on your P1, S40, V50, C30, we want to give a big shout out to ElevateCars.com. While they have nothing to do with sourcing your parts for your conversion, they have everything to do with sourcing some of the best parts that you can get for your P1 and any other Volvo that you have. We have uh, not as much of Elevate's catalog under our hood as we'd like to, but we definitely have plans to put essentially their whole catalog onto this rig right here. So if you haven't seen it, check out elevatecars.com and buy something. I'm gonna put this right here. Okay, so in our previous series, we talked about an overview of the M66 swap. We talked about prices, we talked about parts. Today, we are talking about sourcing the parts. So now, if you're this far in, maybe you've committed, or maybe you said, hey, I'm gonna start thinking about it. We're gonna talk about the three main ways to source your parts for the conversion. So it breaks down like this. You could go to Volvo Direct, and you could go to your local dealer, you could go to the uh, online parts store, and you could buy everything you needed to convert your auto to an M66 transmission. The problem is, as we talked about in our price video, this is gonna be close to $11,000, and on software, you're gonna be over $11,000. You can't do it. The other option is that you source everything at the junkyard. This is the other end, the bottom end of the spectrum. And this is where you're gonna go in and you're gonna be laying on the dirt, you're gonna be out there in the hot sun, and you're gonna be hoping and picking parts off of some other total or turned in salvaged vehicles. Right in the middle is you're gonna get lucky and you're gonna find a donor. As we talked about in our previous parts segment, the, some of the parts on here are gonna be very specific. So we have the all wheel drive T5, which means the transmission that we got has to be from an all wheel drive um, T5 as well. The axles have to be from an all wheel drive T5. So we got very lucky and the donor that we found was an exact sister car to ours. The only difference was it was M66 instead of the auto. So let's talk about, or we're not gonna talk about buying it all new from the Volvo dealership. Because again, if you have that kind of money, you have the money to go out and just buy something else. Um, so we're talking about uh, the people that are trying to do this build in their own garage and not break the bank, or at least not break it too far. So we started this conversion as a junkyard build. We did the full parts research list. We built our spreadsheet. Every single part that we needed was documented with hyperlinks to the Volvo web store with part numbers. And that was a reference point because we were planning on going to the junkyard. We're junkyard dogs, we're here in Southern California. The LKQ has 15 pick parts within an hour drive of us. So we were planning on going out and sourcing everything there. And the reason we built the spreadsheet is so that when the VIN name came in, we could look at it before we actually drove to the yard and we could cross-reference if the axles we needed were on the, that car. The pedal assembly was gonna work the transmission was the right one. All of this stuff before we drove around, picked it, got home, and then got into a swap later and realized that, oh, this doesn't work. So, sourcing at a junkyard, here's what you need to know. You need to scroll up in the article and you need to grab our master Excel spreadsheet. It has all the different uh, drivetrains that are available, at least here in the US, and it's gonna give you the part numbers. It's gonna give you VIN number samples. This is gonna let you know what you're looking for and you can start looking online or you can start looking uh, on your app and see before you even go out to the junkyard if that particular donor car there is gonna have what you need. 
Further, aside from the LKQ, which we have locally, the pick parts, if you're outside of California and you don't have uh, more than just a local junkyard, lkqonline.com, you can list pretty much any one of these parts. You could search by year, make, and model, use our spreadsheet, and it will tell you, and they will sell you. They have a warehouse with all of this stuff sitting somewhere and they can ship it to you. This is gonna be the transmission. This is gonna be some of the other parts that are commonly sold. So when I say junkyard, I would also consider that a hybrid of maybe eBay used parts or the LKQ online or other online used parts manufacturers. Again, the spreadsheet is gonna give you the parts number and the cross reference for every vehicle that this part came in so that you can quickly see is the part you're looking at gonna be compatible with your swap. Uh, a few tips for the junkyard uh, sourcing. Again, we started there. We already went out and we started pulling some of these parts at the yard. We pulled the shift assembly, um, we pulled the pedal assembly, but what I would say is I am so glad we found a donor because when it got to pulling the transmission, when it got to pulling the axles, when um, we had to pull the angle gear because we're all wheel drive and drop the drive shaft, it was so much better doing it here in the garage with power tools, with air tools, with a level concrete clean surface, with a bathroom and a kitchen and a roof over our head. Because now we look back and we say, if we had to pull this transmission out of the yard on the dirt, under a car that's you know leaning and rickety in the sun, it wouldn't have been fun. It would have been doable. We were committed to do it. But if you see a donor come up, we're gonna talk about that next. That's the route you wanna go. But if all you have is Junkyard, eBay, LKQ online, it's still doable. And this is probably gonna be your lowest price point. Because again, if you go back to our price video, we did buy the donor, but we haven't recouped all of our costs out of there. We're still $600 into it. But if you consider we have everything we need, eh, it might be all right. But again, before you set out on the junkyard, look at those other options that we're gonna talk about for the donors. Uh, other tips for the junkyard, make sure that you have cash, make sure you have a buddy. Uh, pop back to the podcast that we did, junkyard tips for beginners. Before you go out there, there's certain things you wanna know before you attempt something this big. This isn't just going to get a headlight. This isn't going to get you know a, a glove box door. This is essentially ripping half of a car out of something at the junkyard. The conditions there are not optimal. Let's talk about the donor option. The donor option is great because when we got the donor, we pulled it in, we had the best conditions here. We had time on our side. We had uh, climate control. We had our tools, we had everything. And when we brought it in, we were able to just sit in, stand back and assess the situation. When you're at the yard, it is a time factor. You need to get in there because you know that if you don't pull this pedal assembly off tomorrow, somebody is, you're gonna go back and whatever you left behind is either gonna be ripped, broken, damaged, or gone. So for the donors, uh, we found this, and this was just a donor that we found. We were talking to somebody on Facebook who had posted this on the Facebook marketplace, and he was selling the donor vehicle. It was maybe about $6,000, right? It was a T5 all-wheel drive M66, sister car of ours, ours being the man, uh, automatic. And he had posted it and he said, oh, I'm thinking about getting rid of it. And so I started chatting with him. Oh, that'd be awesome. This is a great, you know, what we're looking to do. But again, as we talked about in the overview video on why you should do the swap, he didn't have sunroof, he didn't have premium sound, he didn't have leather, and the car was not in as good a shape as this car was. So buying that vehicle just to get the M66 wasn't an option because I'd be losing a lot of features here. So anyways, we chatted it up, long story long, whatever. It's five, six months later, I saw a Facebook notification, an item that you had been interested in has dropped in price. And I said, oh, what's this? Same guy, the price had dropped down to over $1,000, 1,600 to be exact. And what had happened is he had blown the head. Uh, rods were popping, the engine was essentially done. It needed a full rebuild. He was looking to just get rid of the vehicle. And luckily, because I had talked to him earlier, Facebook sent me the notification, 
or I would have still been at the junkyard and not had everything that I needed a year later. So uh, long story long, we went in New Year's Eve 2020, picked up the vehicle, brought it down, had it towed in, and we had everything that we needed. So that was a big weight up over shoulders because we knew we were gonna have to go to the junkyard anymore, 1600 bucks. This was a great option because after we pulled what we needed, we stripped everything, we started selling everything, we made $1,000 back on it, which means, again, as mentioned, we're only 600 bucks left on what we have here, which is way better than going to the junkyard, probably about the same price point, but we didn't have to sit in the dirt, we didn't have to drive around, and we didn't have to go get one piece at a time. If we were doing that, this build may not have happened for another year or two. We have everything, we're ready to go, and we're starting now. Uh, what I would recommend, if you're thinking about this swap, you wanna get in on the Craigslist, you wanna get in on the Facebook Marketplace, you wanna get in on an offer up, you wanna even get on an auto trader. Anywhere that a car is bought or sold, you wanna see and check up and see when these uh, specific donor vehicles are coming in. Uh, the pickup parts here do not sell full vehicles anymore. So a couple years back, used to go in and say, oh, you know what, this car, I actually want to take it and tow it home. They don't do that anymore. Other junkyards around the country, they may still do that. So if that's an option, check your local yard because your donor may come in and you may be able to pick the thing up for 500 bucks. You may be able to pick it up for a thousand bucks, right? We paid 1600 for the donor. And now that I know, check the marketplace, check that. I've seen two or three of these all wheel drive M66 be listed for sale with blown head gaskets, blown engines, total rear ends, whatever, for less than 1600 bucks. I've seen them as low as $600. And I'm like, oh, I could have got my donor and still made more money. So if I had to do it again in preparation, I would be checking for a donor well before I got ready because you don't know when that deal's gonna come up and you're gonna be able to pick up the entire M66 swap for maybe less than $1,000. Um, other tips, again, we're not gonna talk about sourcing from the dealer. We talked about parts. There are certain things you're gonna to have to go to the dealer for, right? The clutch, other things that you're gonna to have to use. Go back to the parts overview video that we did. And for stuff like that, ipdusa.com is where we are getting everything. Um, better, better staff, uh, shipping is quick, and it's usually gonna be a little bit cheaper than the dealer. And even if it's not, these are Volvo guys. They've been doing it for 50 years. That's who you wanna send your money to because they're supporting the Volvo community. Again, if you haven't subscribed, there's a lot more coming. Okay, we're back. Apparently my memory card uh, caps out at about 12 minutes and a half. So what I was gonna say is, Import Sauce is the tag for all of our socials. Hop over to importsauce.com. Make sure you subscribe because there's a ton more content coming. And again, if you have a sick Volvo, even if it's still automatic, that's fine. We want to feature it on importsauce.com. Hop over there, you can submit the form, and we will feature your car on importsauce.com as well as on our socials. Thank you.